Romans chapter 8 tonight, two verses, and then we'll, we'll later move into Exodus um, chapter 32. So be your markings for tonight. Romans chapter 8. Look at two verses, verses 20, 27 and 28. The Bible says in he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to to his purpose. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you once again for just allowing me to be in this place tonight. Just to be in this service, Lord, with this spirit. Lord, I, I, I feel it. I, I, I recognize it. I, I know it. And, and I enjoy it. I love it. I, I love being what I believe to be a purified church, Lord, that is following you. Lord, that has a heart to serve you. And Lord, I feel that and see that in the members' faces. And Lord, we, we're just glad to be here. Lord, I pray tonight your word just Lord, penetrate our hearts, draw us closer to you. Lord, show it us tonight of our opportunity that we do have, Lord. Lord, to serve you, to be in your will. In your precious name, amen. 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 Verse 27, or verse 28, excuse me, it says, And we know, and this is a verse that, that we read a lot, and we know that all things work together for good, and them that love God, they love Him. He goes on to say, To them that are, who are called according to His purpose. I'm going to write over a hundred letters that's going to go out this week. Entitled, Is This What God Intended for You? I want uh, every church member we got, ever been here, ever. Uh, if I can get their address, I, I want I want to send them this letter. Uh, God wrote from from my heart, and it's still writing. But when I look at verse twenty eight and talking about His purpose, now we just got to stop right there and 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 agree that we're here for His purpose. That God owns me. That I belong 100% to Him whether I ever give that to Him or not. He, he owns me. And God, as we have been studying on Wednesday night, is a God that knows everything. And God's purpose or God's intentions for me, I need to see that I'm in that intentions. You understand I mean, God, I don't, I don't care how old you are tonight or what stage of life you're in. Right now, God has intentions for you. God has a plan, and it's been the plan all of your life. Now, when I look at religion today, and I look at, and I want to just get out of religion. I just want to get religion off my mind. I, I, I we. I battle back and forth for, for so long in certain areas and, and I'm just to the point where I no longer want to be religious. I just want to be what He intended. Mm -hmm. If we could get out of classifying ourselves or, or trying to find some, find some code that we're following and we just follow His intentions. Mm -hmm. When I can look today in 2010... Uh, in this day of my life and what's going on and what, what church I'm at and, and what's going on in my family life and, and, and what I'm doing with my money and what's, what's going on in my heart. When I look at these things, I ought to be where God intends for me to be. Mm -hmm. And I look at my relationship with Him and I say, you know, the best thing that I can do is not judge my relationship with God based on how I see somebody else worship or how I see somebody else spout out Bible verses or, or see somebody sing so beautifully. But what I should do is say, is this right here what I'm doing? Is this what God intended for me? Because I look and I see people 
sitting at home. And I see people going to ball games instead of church. And I see people going on vacations. And, and, and I see people that are able to do so many other things. And I have to step back and say, is this what God intends for His relationship? Is God's relationship, when I look at what Jesus Christ has done for us, what He has done on the cross of Calvary, what he's, He has laid down, He told us He laid it down and He picked it back up. What He did was lay it down to, to show us that there was nothing He wouldn't give for us, and then He picked it back up to show that he would, he would go as far as it took for us. That He was going to prove victory in our life. Both parts was for us, Amen. Glory to God, both parts, amen, was for us. And when I see what God is willing to do, and what God is willing to suffer through, and I step back and I, and I think, is this mediocre relationship that we're, we're calling religion today, is this what God intends? Is this it? <laughs> we come to church when we can. look around and, and I'm so burdened. Not for us, but for the people that just don't get it. That just can't see it. Tonight, we have to stop and, and we see people that have no idea what's intended. But tonight, we have to stop and ask ourselves, I want our church to move so far past religion and so far past traditions and I want us to move past what people think and say to what God intends. What God has died for, what God has resurrected for, what He has sent the Spirit. He claims here in Romans, He said, I will send you a Spirit, a Comforter. Why He sends the Spirit, what it is intended for. Even the Spirit is intended for us to have that passionate, close relationship. Mm -hmm. We look today and having so much garbage going on. Is this what God intended? Is it? It really should it be a choice between these things of the world and God. I mean, should I have to even think? I know when I stop and I really, really. I lay it out, I know that it shouldn't be a choice. That this is not what God intends for me to have to sit down and, and decide whether I go and serve Him or I go and, and watch a game or, or go and, 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 and watch a movie. It should be a choice. And this Sunday Morning, night, and Wednesday, is that what God intends for me to be in a worship? For me to be able to pray? For me to be able to, to claim Him and a relationship? I can't, I can't imagine that Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary intending on us having just an hourly relationship a couple times a week. I burden myself with knowing that I should be so much more today than I am. But then I stop and I think, well, I praise God that I at least can see there's so much more He intends for me. There's still so much more. 
I can stop and look at my past and say that I'm going to just, I messed it up and I, there's no use in me trying and striving anymore, but I'm not going to do that. Because what I see in God's purpose, why I was born, why I was created, why I didn't die in the cross, is because of His intentions are so much more.